Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm thrilled to share with you a mouth-watering recipe that's sure to become a favorite. Crispy chicken mini sandwiches. These sandwiches are made of homemade bread, creamy coleslaw and a spicy cornflakes fried chicken, all packed into one irresistible bite. So first let's set up our dipping and breading station. I've got three balls ready to go. In the first one, I've crushed plain cornflakes. Uh, you can do this in a food processor too. In the second bowl, uh, I've added flour, red chili powder, onion powder, paprika powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. Mix everything really well. And since I'm skipping the chicken marinade, uh, I'm um, adding more red chili powder to the flour mixture. You can actually uh, even marinate your chicken breast or thighs with red chili powder and any other seasoning if you like, but I didn't do that. Now on to our third bowl where we'll prepare the wet mixture. Uh, I used buttermilk. Uh, usually I get asked a lot what is buttermilk. I used fresh leaven. Uh, that's buttermilk. So I've added fresh leaven and added two eggs and whisked everything together until smooth. I'm going to air fry my chicken. Now to ensure that our chicken gets that perfect crispiness in the air fryer, I'm drizzling a bit of olive oil into the crushed cornflakes. This will help achieve that golden crunchy coating we all love without the need for deep frying. After preparing our breading station, it's time to coat our chicken fillets. I started by dipping each fillet into the buttermilk mixture, ensuring it's fully coated and then into the flour mixture and then back to the buttermilk. And finally, add it to the cornflakes mixture and ensure that the chicken is fully coated with the cornflakes. Actually, you can skip the first step of dipping in the buttermilk. Instead, you can directly dip the chicken in the flour mix and then into the buttermilk and finally into the cornflakes. That's what I did for the remaining chicken. Now let's make delicious call slow to complement our crispy chicken sandwiches. In a bowl, I've combined cabbage, carrot, jalapeno, and a creamy mix of QP mayonnaise, yogurt, honey, and a dash of black pepper. Mix it all together until everything is well combined and there you have it, tangy, creamy coleslaw that's bursting with flavor. I'll pop it into the refrigerator until we are ready to assemble our sandwiches later. Next, I'm going to make our homemade bread. For the dough, you need flour, oil, sugar, warm water, yogurt, salt and instant yeast now it's time to bring our bread dough to life whether you're using a sand mixer or kneading by hand the process remains the same into the sand mixer bowl i've added all the ingredients and kneaded it for eight minutes until i got a smooth and slightly sticky dough as we mix the ingredients in the stand mixer remember to pour the warm water gradually we want to achieve the perfect texture and consistency for our dough, so don't all add all of the water at once. Uh, take your time, observe the dough as it forms and add more water if needed. Once all the ingredients were combined, I added salt. I didn't add salt in the beginning because sometimes when the salt comes in direct contact with the yeast, it doesn't rise well. So I'm adding the salt now and kneading it again for 8 minutes. After kneading the dough, it may seem a bit sticky at first, but don't worry, that's perfectly normal. Simply dust it lightly with flour and you'll find that it comes together beautifully, becoming smooth and manageable. Now transfer the dough to a well-greased bowl, covering it to let it rise until it doubles in size. Thank you. 
Now it's time to cook our crispy chicken in the air fryer. Carefully place each coated chicken fillet onto the air fryer rack and uh, set the air fryer to 25 minutes and let it get cooked. Our bread dough has risen beautifully and there's nothing quite like the satisfying feeling of punching it down. Now as you can see the dough is incredibly soft and pliable exactly what we are aiming for. To shape our bread simply take small balls of dough and roll them out gently. Uh, we don't want the dough too thin or too thick. Um, just look for a medium that will give us the perfect texture for our sandwiches. Once rolled out, place the dough circles on a baking paper ready to be cooked when it is time. Once I rolled all the bread uh, dough, I let it rise for another 20 minutes. Meanwhile, let's whip up a special spicy sauce to take our crispy sandwiches to the next level. In a bowl, combine sriracha chili sauce, creamy mayonnaise, a touch of chili mayonnaise and uh, a hint of honey for sweetness. Mix it all together until smooth and well incorporated. The spicy sauce adds a burst of flavor that complements our sandwiches perfectly and will uh, go well with any sandwich you make. Now it's time to cook our bread in a pan. For that, I've heated a pan on very high flame and once it's nice and hot, I gently place the bread in the pan. After about a minute, I flip it over. Then I reduce the flame to low to allow the bread to cook through evenly without becoming doughy inside. This step is crucial because if you keep this on high flame, uh, the inside will not get cooked. So uh, once you see the golden spots, it's time for the final flip. And that time you can see the bread will puff up, uh, showing that it's perfectly cooked. Then it's ready to be taken out and uh, we can assemble the sandwich. As we open the bread from the middle, you can see how wonderfully soft and fluffy it is. It remains soft even after some time. To assemble the sandwiches, I first placed lettuce and then I added the spicy sauce. You can actually even dip the chicken in the spicy sauce or just brush the spicy sauce all over the chicken. Uh, but I just uh, uh, drizzled it on the lettuce and then I placed the fried chicken. And then the creamy call slow and I added a bit extra spicy sauce on top and the sandwich is ready. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and uh, I hope you are excited to give it a try yourself. If you're feeling overwhelmed by the number of steps, don't worry. I totally understand. You can always break it up over two days like I did. I made the chicken one day and I completed the remaining steps the next. If you do decide to give this recipe a try, I'd love to hear how it turns out for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please do support by liking, commenting and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.